press release came out about um, somebody announcing the discovery of the largest galaxy known. Um, so this is a, a spiral galaxy which is about five times the size of the Milky Way, so a truly enormous galaxy. This galaxy's grown, and the reason why this galaxy's grown uh, is because there were some new observations of it in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum using a satellite called GALAX. And when you look in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum, you suddenly see all these outer parts of the galaxy that actually only emit in the ultraviolet and not hardly at all in the other parts of the spectrum. And so suddenly the galaxy got a whole lot bigger. It's in a constellation called Pavo, and if you ask me where that is, I'm completely lost <laughs> at that point. But uh, uh, no, it's, it's out there somewhere. So here's the galaxy. This is uh, the galaxy which is now, and you can see, so this is a combination of optical and ultraviolet imaging where the blue coloured stuff is the ultraviolet imaging. So you can see this is blue stuff that stretches off way into the distance here. So this is the new thing which has made the galaxy bigger. So also sort of integral to the story is this little guy here, which is IC4970. So what's thought to have gone on here is that this little guy probably smashed through pretty much the middle of this galaxy and in the process made a bit of a mess and threw bits of this galaxy out. So probably originally this galaxy was quite a bit smaller um, but the, just the act of this little galaxy flying through it or flying past it at high speed stirred things up a lot and threw bits of the galaxy out to large radii, which is why it has this large size now. Biggest in the universe? That's, well, that's a big claim, right? Because we haven't actually seen all the galaxies in the universe. And in fact, since the universe probably goes on forever, we never will see all the galaxies in the universe. It's just the largest we know about. And in fact, in some ways, it's sort of a little bit of a fraud because the only reason it looks like this at the moment is because it's relatively recently been through this process of having this other little galaxy crash through it, which means it's not in it, actually in an equilibrium situation. There's bits of it getting flung out, and we're seeing it in the process of getting flung out into space. So if we came back in a billion years' time, those bits would probably have gone off on their own sweet way, and, and the galaxy would have settled down to something more normal and small again. Mike, this does seem like a cheat to me. This seems a bit like me crashing my car <laughs> and the debris of my car going over 60 or 70 metres and then me saying I have the biggest car in the world. Exactly so. That's really the story here, that what you're seeing here is a, a car wreck in the process of happening um, and that's why it's spread over, the, the wreckage is spread over such a large area. The reason why the ultraviolet's interesting is because it tells you about young stars, stars that are forming now, because very young stars emit lots and lots of ultraviolet light. So where you see lots of ultraviolet, that's telling you that stars are forming. And so that's also a bit peculiar about this galaxy because it means it's forming masses and masses of stars far away from the center. And in fact, they've even done a study to, to look at the relative ages of stars as you work your way outwards. And what they find is that as you work your way out, the stars get younger and younger. So it looks like this interaction with this little galaxy here has actually sort of sent a wave of star formation out through this galaxy. But actually, the reason I'm excited about this galaxy isn't actually the galaxy itself at all. Um, the reason I find this a fascinating picture is because as well as this galaxy is, uh, that's sort of the, the focus of the story, it actually illustrates something about galaxy formation and galaxy evolution. There's a galaxy here which is in the process of dying and there's a galaxy here which is in the process of being formed in the first place. So the galaxy that's in the process of dying is this little guy from the index catalogue which caused all the trouble in the first place. And you can see it's basically, it's very sort of a, a boring looking galaxy at this point. It's not actually forming any new stars itself. That's because this process of it smashing through this bigger galaxy stripped all its gas out, so it actually stopped forming stars at that point. So this guy is now sort of at the end of its life um, as a star-forming galaxy. It's turned into one of these things called an S0 galaxy. So that's sort of the end of the life of a galaxy. But if you look way out here in the outskirts, there's this little faint blue blob out here, which sort of is connected to the, the end of this spiral feature in this galaxy. And this is what's thought to be a Thing called a tidal dwarf. This is a galaxy which is a brand new system, so it's very, you know, it's emitting all this ultraviolet light, so we know it's forming lots of new stars, and it's actually being formed in the process of this collision, and will probably kind of escape entirely from this system and form a little galaxy all on its own. So this is a galaxy, we, in this process we see the death of one galaxy, the end of one galaxy's star formation, and the birth of a brand new one out here.